Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. This is question number five from the P1, Pure Mathematics P1 International A-Level at Excel, January 2021 paper. And this is a question here about radian measure, it seems. It says, figure three shows the planned view of a viewing platform at a tourist site. The shape of the viewing platform consists of a sector A, B, C, O, A, um, center O joined to a triangle AOD. So this is the viewing platform, which is like a, um, a sector, this part, A, B, C, O, A, and then a triangle is joined to AOD. Those are the two sections that make this viewing platform. It says, given that OA equals OC equals six meters. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I've brought the diagram here so we can see it more clearly. So, we know that OA and OC are both six meters, radius of the sector. Um, angle ADC is 0 0.43 radians. ADC, this one here, that's 0 0.43 radians. Radians, very important that we realize that. AOD is an obtuse angle. Okay, that's going to be important probably. Um, that's obtuse, it's not an acute angle. And OCD is a straight line. Okay, the size, we've got to find the size of angle AOD. All right, so we can find the size of this angle here. Um, we know this is 0 0.43 radians. We know this length is 6 meters. We know that AD is 14 meters as well. This is 14 meters. See, OD, OC is only up to here, but we know the whole of the length um, AD. So let's call this angle X. Okay, so we're going to say let AOD be X. So the angle AOD, we called it X. Now, what we can see here is we have pairs of opposites. We have X, the angle X and 14, the angle 0 0.43 radians and 6. So we can use the sine rule here. So I can say the sine of angle X divided by the length opposite it, 14, is equal to the sine of the angle, 0 0.43 radians, over the side of the length opposite it. So we can use our calculators here, but we have to be very careful that we change everything into radian mode. So I'm going to change the mode into radian mode, so go to angle unit, 2. It has to be in radian mode because we're using trigonometry with radians. So we can say that sine x is 14 times the sine of 0 0.43 radians over 6. So therefore we can find what x is. So we have inverse sine of 14 sine 0 0.43. divided by 6. Okay, so inverse sine of the sine of 0 0.43 divided by 6. And this is in radian mode. And I press equals, and it will give me an angle. And the angle is 1.3365. Now, we've got to be really careful here. We've got to be really careful here because uh, we're not used to things in radians. What we've got to realize is that um, this angle is going to be an acute angle, not an obtuse angle. All right. If we if we see that this is, um, you know, we know that pi radians is 180 degrees. Okay. So if I take, um, let me just store this uh, store this under a. Okay. So that's stored away now. Like if I take pi, which is 3.142, and I divide it by two, that will give me 90 degrees. As a decimal, that's 1.571. You see, this is less than, okay, um, pi over 2. But it's less than 90, so this angle is acute. This is an acute angle. We want the obtuse angle. I'm sure a lot of people missed up on this one. So the, acute and the obtuse angle is going to be 180 minus this angle, which is pi minus 1.33658, because the sine curve between 0 and 180, between 0 and pi, okay, it will give you two values, okay, which share the same sine ratio. 
which would be this ratio here. And the calculator always gives us the one that's closest to zero, which is 1.33, okay, 65, whatever this was. We're actually looking for this angle, which is the obtuse angle, okay? Now, because we don't see these angles as, you know, in terms of degrees, we just, the, the temptation is to write this angle down as it is. But if you realize that this is actually less than pi over 2, okay, because as we saw, pi over 2 is 1.571, and this is less than, this is an acute angle. So we want the obtuse angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the angle that we, I'm going to take pi minus the angle that we have. So pi minus, pi is 180, remember, minus the angle that we found. So I'm going to get it back, pi minus the angle, and that will give us an angle which is, um, obtuse as you see it's more than 1.5 so it's more than um, 3.142 so this is 1.085 we want it to three decimal places so 1.805 I'll write it as it is first it's 1.80500 dot dot so to three decimal places it's one point therefore the angle AOD is equal to 1.805 radians. Okay, so there's the answer for part A. So very important for you to realize that this is, it tells us very clearly it's an acute, obtuse angle. Whenever you see an, a question like this and it tells you it's obtuse, more often than, than not, you're going to have to use the sine rule to find it. And when you use the sine rule to find it, the, the um, angle you're going to find is always going to be acute. All right, because the calculator will always give you the value which is closest to zero, and you have to do 180 minus that angle to find the obtuse one. And 180, and when you're talking about radians, is pi radians. So that's something to watch out for. I'm sure a lot of people wrote the answer as 1.337 instead of 1.805 because of that reason. Okay, so take care of that. It's very important. Now for part B. Okay, so now we know, let's just see what we've taken from there already. We know the angle now is um, 1.805. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just keep this angle here, and I'll again I'll save it. I'll store it back as a again. Okay, so this is now saved as a 1.805. Okay, so I know that this is the angle here AOD. It's the obtuse angle 1.805 radians. I know this is six. I know this part is six. I know this is 14. Okay, and this is 0 0.43. These are the things that we know from before. Okay, so find the length of ABC. ABC, the arc ABC. Well, that's uh, pretty simple because we know that the the length of an arc is given by R times theta. And theta here is going to be this angle, all right, which is going to be R times 2 pi minus our angle 1.805. And R is equal to? the radius, which is 6. Okay, so the length of an arc, when we're talking about the angle in radians, is r theta, r the radius, and theta the angle. So this is the angle theta here, which is 2 pi minus the angle that we found earlier, because we want this, this angle there, and that will give us the length of our arc. So we're going to have 6 times 2 pi minus what I had stored again now for A, which was that last answer, which gives us 26.869, 26.869 dot dot dot, which is 26.9 meters. Meters, yes, meters. Okay, so there we have the answer for part B. And for part C, finally, it says find the total area of the viewing platform. So we need to have the area of this triangle okay and we have to have the area of this sector okay let's start with the area of the sector so we got the area of the sector the major sector which is going to be given by a half r squared theta so this is a half times six squared times the same thing two pi minus 1.805 that will give us the area of the sector. And then I have to also add the area 
of the triangle. Okay, now I can use a half AB sine C. I know this is 6, I know this is 14. Um, I don't need to calculate this. I can use, I can find what this angle is. Okay, let me call this angle alpha. And we can see that angle alpha is equal to pi minus the sum of 1.805 plus 0 0.43. Okay, so alpha is going to be pi minus 1.805 minus, or plus, sorry, plus 0 0.43. And that gives me 0 0.9065, 0 0.90659, dot, dot, dot. That's theta. That's um, the alpha. That's the angle here. So if I do a half times 6 times 14 times this value, the sign of this value, I will get the area of the triangle. So it's a half AB sine C. So it's a half times A and B are the two sides that make the angle, which are 6 and 14 times the sine of, I'll call it alpha, okay, which is going to be uh, 0 0.990659. Okay, so you're going to have sine of 0 0.90659. Okay. So that will give me the area of the triangle. And then I have to add those two areas together. Okay. So, in fact, I can just do that in one step. I'll just do that in one step. What I'll do is I'll just do... I'll just do this. I'll say a half times 6 squared times 2 pi minus 1.805 plus a half times 6 times 14 times the sine of 0 0.90659 and that will give you my total area. Okay, so I'll just put all of this in my calculator and see what I get. So I'll have here a half times 6 squared times 2 pi minus 1.805 a half times 6 times 14 uh, times the sine, I mean radian mode, that's fine, of 0 0.90659 and that gives me a total area of 113.678 which we want to express to one decimal place, which is going to be 113.7 meters squared. Meters squared to one decimal place. And there we have the answer for this question, part C. And I think that was the whole question. Yeah, that's the whole question number five done. Um, so here we have uh, question five from P1, January 2021. Other questions from this paper will find you'll find in this playlist, which should appear in this section here. Other questions from this topic of radian measure from P1 you can find in this playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this icon and on the top of the page you can find yourself going to another uh, P1 paper you might want to watch. Thank you for watching.